say yes. Press. There you are. We got it. <laughs> we did. We did. Oh, my lady. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, mommy. Yeah. That took. That took a while. All right. We're all right. We're good. So. Take a deep breath. Let all the stress out. <laughs> I'm trying to do that for the last, I don't know, like 20 minutes, does it feel like? We've been trying to get on together to talk about this week. So get yourself into really that, that good feeling that you had when we were trying to attempt this um, 30 minutes ago or whatever it was. And uh, let's start now. Um, get back into it. So it's been a week since we saw each other. Yep. What, what difference did it make? <laughs> okay. Where do you start? It. When I was by you, I felt already different because I was so easy. So. I'm so light weight now. It feels so beautiful. All right, so let's talk about that. You feel light in your body or light in yeah. your mind? Or where's the light? Where are you? Mind from? and the whole body. Is lighter. It's lighter. Where and you... I'm open. <laughs> You're open. Well, what kind of openness? Can you describe it? Okay, before I always thought about things nonstop. The constant chatter. Yep. It's gone. It's gone. It, I get sometimes a little like it wants a break for it wants to come back. But then I take deep breaths into the nose, out the mouth. If I do that three, four times, it helps. Was the chatter in your mind? part of like what what was the quality of the chatter was it you know just overthinking okay overthinking so what you're saying is that your your body has like an upgrade it, in some way it, it, you've released all this here and you've gotten deeper connected in, with here and it's created this effect of like releasing you let go I mean to, to create have lightness means that the stuff that was in here is gone. There's something that's gone. That German instrument that you said, how you call it? Where you pull and you make music and you push buttons? Oh, the uh, the accordion? The okay. Polka? If you pull it together, that's how my stomach felt and my brain, like, compressed. You is know that, what I mean? Yeah. So, well, is that good? Is that? Is and that now good? it's like, oh yeah. It's there's there's like space now. Yep. Where there wasn't before, everything was compressed. Right. Like now I was full. Now you're full. I was full. You now were? I'm like, oh, I'm like, everything is gone. Yep. So you've had some body changes, and this is the part I'm so it's remarkable to me. What happened in your body, physically? I can eat and I eat slower and my body says, nope, you cannot <laughs> eat this. So I won't. I try and then I'm like, no, it won't. Your body so I'm eating lighter food. Yeah. Your body's communicating clearer to you. You've, you've had this kind of an awakening. And I don't eat that much no more. Normally I was eating all the time, eating. What kind of things are you eating now that you weren't eating before? Or is it the same? Okay. Thing? Now I eat lighter food. Like I take zucchini and I make noodles out of it. <laughs> wow. Okay. And I mix it with normal pasta. But I can't eat a lot of pasta, regular pasta. Or I can't eat real heavy stuff. I don't want it. I love it. I mean, I enjoy it. So what about people? What have people been saying about you? At work? 
People say I am so soft looking in my face. And I smile. I'm more open and relaxed. No more stress, they say. I said, I'm not stressed. I'm so laid back. Yesterday, I was so in the mood because I didn't yell for, since I'm back, I didn't yell. Normally, I yell at work. Really? Come on, it's good to go. And, and I'm so laid back and I'm like, okay, I didn't yell for this week. I have to yell. <laughs> so I picked the reason that I can yell at them and they're like, oh? Yeah. And I said, I'm not sorry. I was bored. I had to yell. So, but people are, they're loving it. They say, I'm relaxed. But I have to watch out too. I'm so open to things. It's like yeah. the antennas are so sensitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to watch out too. Yeah, so how do you protect yourself? Are you taking I have to set boundaries yeah. for myself. And is it hard? Does the body communicate clearly? I listen to my body. So I respect it. If it says no, I have to say no. If not, I will pay for it. Right? It's going to suck, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think? But it's real, real nice. <laughs> what do you think your body, if your body could speak, what would it say to you? Thank you so much. It's never too late. Nope. Never. Now I can say that. I didn't say that before, I swear to God. Do you remember what you used to say before? I thought, yeah, I thought, just give it up, man. Just give it up. Because I really tried therapy, it just didn't work. Talking about it wasn't resolving your connection with your no. that you needed. Right. So for those of you, I guess we've been talking for a while, but for those who are interested, what, what did you, how would you describe what we did? What we did? Yeah. How, how would you describe it? What would you say? It's platonic touch that we did, but I bet there's healing in there. I mean, some kind of magic. <laughs> I can't explain it. <laughs> Oxytocin drug. Oxytocin drug. <laughs> yeah. It's real. Yeah. I don't know if it was, I think it's all above. You can't. You can't single something out and say, that was it. I know when the walls came down, I can say about what timing that was. Would you like to tell people? But You're welcome to say it if you'd like to. When, when we were on the couch and I was leaning into you. Lying back into me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... When you put the head, a uh, hands on my on my cheeks, and on my head, and when you pushed, you put pressure on it. That took away the pressure and the thinking in my head. Right. But it seemed, it it went through my body like little by little, and each breath I took, it went deeper down. It's, it was like it's pushing it all down, all the way, and out of my feet, and out of my hands. All that shit that was in there needed to get pushed out. Yep. Yeah. Do you remember about the touch on your cheek, what happened? Do you remember when it wasn't okay at first? Do you remember how you resolved right. that? You would like to talk yep. about how and then I, then you, I took your hand, 
and put it on my cheek and then it was okay. You did it. So it had to come from yep. you. You needed to be in control of the kind of touch that, that you were receiving, which is an extremely important part yep. of this process. I didn't understand that part, but. Do you understand it now? Now I do. But when you said it, I'm like, this don't make no sense. <laughs> but it okay. does. But it really does. Yeah, it needs to come from you. Because at first you were like, oh, that was, it was a foreign touch. And then once you're like, no, no, no yep. oh, I know, okay, I'm in control of this. And then we were, I was able to continue. Remember, you let go of your hand and I could stay there. And then the work could be done. Um, so tell me, is there anything more you want to share just from this past week? I mean, you know, you, you're pretty close to your coworkers, so you shared with us, with us about that. You've also shared about what the sensation is like, the lightness in your body, how you change in your eating. Um, of course, your mind being that the chatter is gone. How about sleep? How about... I sleep through. Still? I don't wake up. Yep. Wow. Okay. And it's so smooth to sleep. It's deep, but it's smooth. No bad dreams, nothing. That's amazing. Okay. Sleep like a bear. <laughs> like you are, and bear. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about um, what, I know there have been some, maybe some more difficult moments. I mean, this isn't the perfect process, right? Because you, we had our no. five hours together and then you left. Um, so what have been some of the hiccups? What have been some of the challenges? There's a lot more work to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just in the beginning. Yeah. The challenge is just not to drop into it in a daily basis because it's so open and you, you're so sensitive. You feel everything. It's, it's real sensitive, everything. And misunderstanding things. That's the hardest part I think for me right now. So now getting Because to some things I don't know, is this normal? Is this okay? I question them things and I'm like, oh, and I question my acting at work, if that's all okay. Mm -hmm. But it's just ask, isn't it? And I'm working on that. But it's like, I see it out at a different angle. So I'm changing that too. It's a big process. It's learning how to be responsible for your experience, it sounds like, and being in relationships. So I, I mean, I'm curious, there's a question that one of our viewers are asked about how will you continue this process? And, and really, if you remember, when we began all of this, there was this definite like big question like about being in a relationship. Um, I can't. Say that again, say that again. I can't go in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everybody's a witness. Ann Bear just said she can't go and get into a relationship. So. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> There's work here. Uh, good work. Good, good, like, feel good. Um, and I, and my, my wish and prayer is that it, it comes to you with a lot of ease. Like, this process was unfolding without you even doing anything really about think about what you've accomplished and it's been effortless right right so yes right but let's just say this and bear cannot absolutely you cannot but watch as you unfold effortlessly and i don't know that word which one effortless yeah it's not a german um the, the Germans don't have a word for this because Germans are such hard workers. <laughs> okay. What I'm saying, I can't right now, maybe in the future, but right now it's a no-go. Right. So, right. And I wouldn't encourage you to, because I think 
you're open and that that's a good place to be and right but there's so much more there there is there's a lot to discover around who are you in this open space how do you take care of yourself right now it's about taking care of what do i want what do you want how do you stay open to yourself how to take care yep. of and, and watching the boundaries and listening to your body when your body says no and i think that's and where i'm going <laughs> so when somebody asks how are you continuing this process i think it's definitely you're doing it you're listening to your body number one protecting taking care of the most valuable thing there is which is you and like the simple ways of like not eating things that you don't want to eat like your body's like nope we're not eating that stuff we used to eat all the time yep small ways and knowing or when go ahead say no, no, it's good. Go ahead. It, it's certain people. I say, no, nope. no more. There's certain people since I came back, I react different and I tell them, you won't believe this, but I'm saying no. And I'm, I'm I'm not sorry because I'm really happy that I can say that without feeling bad. You can say no. And yep. Good because but I feel good about it. You, because you know, let me. I like to say this: um, when you say no to somebody else, do you know who you're saying yes to? Yes, to me. To you, and you're worth it. Look at that irresistible. Yes, I am. Irresistible face of yours. So it's, you're so endearing. That that face has changed. You're not the same person that I that I met. Yeah. I'm loving it. So, what are your big plans in the future? Would you like to tell the world now that you've made it public? Are right, are we still? Keep it if I wouldn't be in Indiana, I mean, if I if I would be in Antonio, I would say, I give everybody on the street a hug. I don't care. I ask them if they want a hug. <laughs> I don't know. It's I want to do a happy dance. <laughs> you can. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how to. Put it out there in the world and that they say, hey, there is hope. There are ways. I think I talk different too. Say more. A little bit. How do you talk different? I don't know. I feel like I talk different. You're you more calmer. Yeah. Your, your whole way, and probably all that chatter and all of that, I mean, I can see how it would even scrunch up your face and make you feel and look rough in your face because it's, it's constant, you know, the head, constant working. And then when it's like, it stops, you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we're going to let um, close out our video with, I guess what I was trying to, I was alluding to is that you're, you're moving. Yes, I'm moving to San Antonio, Texas. It's not me. It's not me, but you got a job. No. So you came down here to, for a job interview and you were accepted, um, which is awesome. Yep. I'm still looking for a place to stay, but I will find that too. Yep. And if it works for you to continue working with me, great. If not, that's okay too. But just knowing that Again, like five hours of your life compared to- I will like, come again. Compared to like years of therapy, you know, like looking at even the cost analysis there, I mean, you were able to have this incredible change and I'm so grateful for yep. you. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, we're gonna end the video now. And of course, Amber and I will continue talking privately. Bye, y'all. Thank you, everybody. Uh, take care.